Hey guys, it is Michelle, and today I'm going to, you know, drink this very sugary McDonald's caramel frappe while judging Amberlynn Reed. The, I'm kidding. Like, my thing is, is, <laughs> is like, with Amberlynn, I feel like she has this... Okay, by the way, you guys... <laughs> I I dyed my hair black, but I decided to also dye my eyebrows. Um, but I left it. I did my eyebrows. Do not do what I did. And so I dyed my eyebrows as one does, and it was like dyeing my skin. And um, so now I I like scrubbed it. Don't be like me, you guys. It was a big mistake. And so if I look like this, then that might be a little bit of an explanation. But anyways, I, I, okay, I don't really react to, I mean, honestly, I react to Amberlynn quite often, but like, I don't, I don't really react to her unless it's like something that irks me because as y'all know, like I'm low key, well, like, listen, I would not, can like, I'm coming to terms with my am babiness that I am indeed an am baby for um, having hope and empathy for her like trauma because like I I I get it like I get it I sh like the things that she's done What is that noise? Oh my god. There was like this really bit I'm over it. I'm over it. But anyways, so I might react to that this part of the video first because I don't really know what to title this video. Like I can't really think of anything good. What's up Jordan Hollister and the Never Wonder System and Jennifer Len Fest E. What's up what's up y'all? Did you guys hear that? <gasps> okay, to me, it sounded like screeching tires. I certainly hope it wasn't someone screaming. Right? I can't believe you guys heard that too, because the mic is like ridiculous. So anyways, that's what's going on in my life. Um, <laughs> so, um, but anyways, Amber, she pulled the weirdest form of deflection and she was like listen you guys i know that i'm actively killing uh, mm, gonna get demonetized unaliving myself by the choices that i make every day right you know and i don't know if it was her or doctors that said that she, whatever like how long that she would actually live if she ke like kept up her life lifestyle and so, you know what Amber does? She posts a video and she's like, you know what, you guys? I know that I partake in these unhealthy habits, but like, you know, these, these, uh, the smokers, you know, I was watching this video about cardiology and these, they, every single cardiologist said it's, if there was one thing they would never do, it's smoke. So really, I'm not that bad. And I was like, what? Like, what does that have to do with it? Like, first of all, I was thinking about it, and I partly, like, I am going to be a huge hypocrite today, because, but, um, don't smoke, you guys, seriously. Life, you, I used to not have to spend all this money on vapes, but anyways, um, and also, like, it's, it's, like, obviously, it's not good for you, obviously, just like Amber's lifestyle. What's up, Kira? That was ins- I can't, like, where- What was that? Was that, like, coming from the out- I mean, not that you guys- <laughs> I, I don't- But I- Okay, okay, let me know. Like, I don't know what to call this video. The, the title of the video made me spit take. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, because it's like, she's responding to Shrimpgate. Anyways, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on if you're feeling risky, comment below, and uh, keep being rad.
Let me let me make sure this volume is working. Yes, we are. Um, if you guys don't know about this, hey guys. So we're going to <laughs> talk mm. about shrimp gate. I'd like to acknowledge that I know my voice is a lot more quiet than the thing, and I don't know how to change it. And I'm extremely unprofessional. Mm. And I'm sorry if mm. honestly, if it's a problem, like let me know. Yeah, so watch out for the for the uh, thunderstorms out <laughs> today, you guys. Um, I like to watch Cap. It's is it toasty warm? Well, you like to watch the Cap? Is it toasty warm? Wait, what? My Cap? Yes. Well, I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but basically, I just dyed my hair black again, and um. You're not supposed to wash it for as long as... It really has not been that long. It's been, like, two days since I've washed my hair. And it's already, like, this greasy blob. Thank you. It has a lot of, like, thingies on it. Like, but I'm over it. Like, listen, if if my things on my beanie bother you, I would like to apologize. <laughs> It's like, I'm healthy because I don't smoke, does every other unhealthy thing. Anyways, what I was saying, you guys, is I'll, I'll finish that, but I have to, I have to say that, um, like, I have heard podcasts and stuff, and let me know you guys' opinion, because, like, I'm open to interpretation, but, like, I've heard podcasts and stuff, like, talk about the benefits of smoking cannabis specifically, I've never heard any benefits of smoking cigarettes, let's be honest, but, I mean, maybe, but, like, but, like, the reality is, is that I have never seen a person smoking cigarettes and say that it's healthy, whereas Amber, <laughs> thank you for complimenting my hat, fam, I very much appreciate it, I think it has, like, a hole in the back of it, this was my rehab hat, and so I wore this literally every day in rehab because my hair was like patchy because it was just growing in because I shaved my head because I'm I'm me and I did that. But anyways, so anyways, I'm people are saying like, oh, you know, it's it's good. And I, I you know, I'm going to say cannabis is is fabulous for a lot of people. But like, is it good for you? It's not good for your lungs. Like, I guess if you did like edibles or something, but like, ad, you know, everything in moderation. <laughs> but anyways. Um, does everything, does every other unhealthy thing. I had a grandfather, Rip, who would say my doctor told me smoking wasn't bad for, for me. His doctor from 50 years ago. Oh my god. That's terrible. I'm, I mean, I can't believe that happened. Like, wasn't it that the government was, like, lying and saying it was healthy so that they could sell? Oh, there's, like, a hawk outside, y'all. We smoke the green medical card holder for eight years it helps us so like that's what i'm trying to say fam and i'm also trying to say that weed helped me too much if that makes sense like i i need and you know you everyone is different but like i needed it like i don't understand how you can smoke the green only once a week or or once a day like I either have to be smoking it literally chain smoking it all of the time I have to be relaxed as kicking geese would say but also I'm gonna go ahead and say that like I heard okay correct me if I'm wrong but isn't smoking cannabis less bad for your lungs could be completely wrong I can't believe I'm saying this on live but like preface not a doctor um but also it's like I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. Smoking is bad for some, but for us, smoking green is a better alternative. Ab yeah, that's all I'm saying. But, like, at the end of the day, fam, first of all, that is that is 100% true. And with that in our minds, like, I don't know. It's, it's hard for me because, like, obviously, I'm 100% pro-cannabis. <laughs> Um, we smoke two to three times a day and have a vape pen with microdosing through the day. How do you not want to be slammed all day? Well, let's just turn it into a live about how to, how to, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I have to be sober because I can't, I. Yes, we are. Um, if you guys don't know about this era in my life, this was, 
about four to five years ago and I lost in only a couple of days about 12,000 subscribers. Dude, I would be devastated. If I lost 12,000 subscribers, I'd be in the negatives. <laughs> um, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is like, y'all know that if you be if you be smoking the green, technically it's good for your brain, not good for your lungs. That's all I'm saying. And like, nobody is out here saying like that it's good for you. You know what I mean? Like, y'all are saying the psychoactive effects that you can achieve. I'm gonna stop because, like, obviously I'm here smoking a vape, so it's hard because it's like, like Amber's doing, we know, well, I don't know who we is, I know, you know, that it's bad, you know, but you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I appreciate you guys being here. I know I promised I would start scheduling lives, but um, we'll talk later, actually. <laughs> um, that's all I'm saying, fam. Less additives in weed currently, too. That's all I'm saying. Um, I believe, I mean, the only difference is that my life is, is manageable when I smoke nicotine. However, I will acknowledge it's not good for you. I try to say that. I don't say it in every stream, but whenever I'm like vaping a lot in, in stream, I tell people like, just so you know, I do not condone this. I don't know why I'm talking about it so much. It's really not. the whole. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was thinking like she's coming after the YouTubers who vape. Is she coming after wifey for real? Also, what's up, Thornback? I think I saw you in um, Kicking Geese's stream. That's iconic. I love her. I guess we have smoked so long that it doesn't really make us stoned, but just functional. Fam, I, I feel that so bad. May have to do with our disorder and the way it interacts with us, but it doesn't make us goofy. Uh, you, bless, we eat edibles. Oh, that's rad. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know, and I, it's interesting. I've heard a lot of people with dissociative, well, not really, just, I mean, dissociative disorders, but also just mental health, like... It, like, I'm going to be the first person to say, choose cannabis over benzos, right? And here's why. I don't know. It's up to you, though, because if you are not don't have an addictive personality, then benzos might be the right thing for you, you know? But anyways, let's just watch this part really quick, and then let's just watch it from the beginning, because this part's funny. Wait, why did he put... Um, what's... The, oh, I know his name. I'm just having a brain fart. Oh, I'm terrible. Wait, what's this? Now, of course, this movement of five seconds is all across social media. And there is this woman who is, I guess, a fat representative. Her name is Samira Miller. She's got... That's not it. Sorry, you guys. I'm tripping. Is this even the right video? <gasps> Wait. Oh, no. I hope this is the right video. That would be so cringe. Oh, no, it is. Whew. I was like, you guys, I'm going to have to go all the way back and find the right video. Watched um, a TikTok, actually. Cardiovascular doctors were asked the same question. And like, it was my, as a like Amber, that's absolutely right. I think that you should talk about how smoking is bad for you. That's great. But not in deflection from. We all know where that goes. I recently watched um, a TikTok, actually. Cardiovascular doctors were asked the same question. What does that have to do with it, though? Like, Amber, you know that I'm an advocate and I understand that a lot of your behaviors are rooted from deeper childhood I, I don't want oh god I shouldn't have even said that because it's like oh god I I, tr I take that back that was terrible I you know what I mean it's like but but at the same time it's like at that point it's your responsibility to um do something about it like I I'm always the first person to say that your mental illness is not an excuse you know even though, like, I try to make... Because it's, like, it's a very excusable thing, right? Like, a lot of the time you need to be excused when you're mentally ill. Um, wait, tornado? Darn it. Severe thunderstorm. Um, the whole video... Oh, I already read So, I guess we have smoke... Wait, I already read that, too. Cannabis helps with BPD mood swings. All I'm saying, fam. All I'm saying. That's great, actually. I, I, don't, I didn't know that. <laughs>
And it was, as a heart doctor, what is one thing you would never do? And they all had the exact same answer. What's one thing you would never do as a cardiologist? I would never smoke, even if the packaging is appealing. I would never smoke anything or do any stimulant drugs, methamphetamine or cocaine. Horrible for your heart. I would never smoke. I would argue that, you know what else is not good for your heart? Being 600 pounds. Like, listen. I, like, like, listen. I am 100% for body, pos like, body positivity. And, um, like, you don't need to be this, like, society standard of what you think healthy looks like. Um, because in reality, that's not really, like, in a lot of cases, that's not healthy either. Like, people, w like, a lot of people, like, just, they have bad eating habits too. Like, so it's like, you can't really be the judge. <laughs> I wonder how many of them answered as this is what I'm supposed to say. I mean, it... I'm sure it's widespread opinion, but you guys, okay, I shouldn't be saying this, but like, have you guys ever heard of like, um, the people who smoke their entire life and nothing happens? What's that about? Like nothing bad in your health? And I actually, I would not drink alcohol either. I would never smoke. <laughs> that would be number one. <laughs> smoke. It's the worst thing you can possibly do for yourself. It's awful. It is the uh, cause of so many major problems in, in... Dude, it's the devil in disguise. Only good things come from smoking, in my opinion. No, you guys know I'm kidding, because obviously... What is it called? Um, like, you know, the Satan was God's favorite, and he was very beautiful. For real, my mom was, like, you guys, like, all I'm saying is that, like, you're a beautiful human being. Amber's a beautiful human being. However, it's just not healthy. Like, I'm not, I'm not taking, and I'm not saying that if you're, if you're plus size, you're unhealthy. Not at all. These are two completely different things. Like, I, like, I know Michelle McDaniels is up in here, but, like, I'm like, dude, like, like it's just it's just too much pressure for people to be a certain size when in reality that shouldn't matter for real my mom was over 500 pounds before her gastric surgery and she she died a few years later because she never took care of herself i'm so sorry cat that must have been just so sad to watch oh my goodness and jennifer serious you guys oh my god this makes me not, not want to like that's i'm so sorry jeez that's all i'm saying beauty is at every size health is not like and i'm i'm just i know that this might be an unpopular opinion if and it's like but i'd go as far as to say like all I'm saying is, like, just Amber specifically, if you're 600 pounds, might want to have a second look. I'm sorry for pausing so much. I'm, I'm chatty today, apparently. In not only heart health, but general health. I say the number one no-no in terms of heart health is going to be smoking. Uh, and that really Drinking dem frappes from McDonald's. Really includes all forms of smoking. So we often think of smoking traditionally as cigarettes. But that does include vaping, which is now a lot more popular. And unfortunately, because a lot of these companies who pitch these products are so good at marketing and advertising, we sometimes forget that there might be some ills associated with that as well. No one is deciding. Okay, um, a reason you shouldn't vape, though, after all, is because like, or smoke cigarettes, is because if you don't have the option to vape somewhere, you're literally going to be miserable. Like... Don't be sorry, my mom was too worse when she died. Um, I felt free from her control. It's a confusing thing I'm ther in therapy for. Honestly, that is beautiful. Like, I feel like there's this whole, there's this whole thing, and I'm like, I'm not talking about your mother, I'm not, but like, there's this whole thing where people will, um, 
mothers are put on a pedestal. Like, you have to adore your mother. And this says nothing about you. I'm sure you did adore your mother. So this isn't about you. But, like, the reality is, is, like, if your mom, in like, did whatever and changed your life and impacted your life in a bad way, like, you depended on her, like, growing up a lot of the time. And I don't know, I was reading about this in Jeanette McCurdy's book. It's like, yeah. Being upon if they su should support or like. Stop apologizing me. Yeah, no, I've literally only gotten one comment ever about please stop talking so much and watch the video. <laughs> but now it sticks. It sticks. No, I'm kidding. It's just that like, I, I don't know, I'm pausing a lot. Or the worst person? Okay, got you. Yeah. I mean, dude, like completely respect. Like, it's like. What is it? Not all mothers deserve children, but all children deserve a good mother. It's like someone based on them smoking cigarettes while smoking cigarettes is actively killing somebody. Just like, you know, me being off track is also actively killing me. But it's... Bro, Amber, you know I love you, bae. But what the fuck? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? It's like, why does cigarette smoking just for the lack of a better example get less heat than some what i mean i'm almost positive that there's someone in my videos at some point who watches me vape and is like shame on you you know what and you would be right you know what i mean but like nobody See, oh, there's a bird. Oh, he's so cute. Yes. I miss my rats, dude. Like, that's all I'm saying. Cigarette smokers get tons of shit, trust. Like, do you know how embarrassing it is to smoke? If you are, if you a smoker, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, I don't know if it's true, but when I, when I vape or smoke in public, I feel like an asshole like i feel like oh guys everyone look at me i'm so cool i'm smoking a cigarette but like in reality it's so embarrassing because it's an addiction basically like nicotine is addictive i mean not in europe but in the states oh yeah i guess that's true like but i mean the i don't i don't get it it's like like, I, I mean, to an extent, like, I guess, but it's also just like, okay, Amber, like, so? They should both get flack. Someone my size, you know, eating some shrimp on camera. It's just, it's, it all boils down to one thing, and we all know the answer. You guys, I'm gonna make an entire YouTube video about like what it's like um like why people bully online and like i think just from right now like it's just that like there's nobody um you can't it's like you can't you can say whatever you want because you don't have a face you know what i mean you don't have to speak to that person face to face and like um like what is it internet aggression <laughs> But it's, like, literally, Amber, na like, like, I know that you get extreme amounts of hate, and that's terrible, right? But at the same time, it's, like, everybody gets hate. It's, like, literally everybody, every, who, name one YouTuber who has never gotten hate, right? Like, Yeah, we get, I mean, listen, I, I, I never notice bad looks, but I'm sure they're there because I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, we get look at gross because cigs are gross. We get look at as gross. Yeah, like, because, because then you smell like cigarettes and people are like, oh my god, it smells so bad. And it's like, yeah, I have, you know, I smoke cigarettes. <laughs> um... Actually, cig and it's like, of course, Amber would li <laughs> would like be out here like trying to deflect on smokers, 
Actually, cigarettes are one of the things that are one of those things that are like classy if you're rich, trashy if you're poor. That's actually true. Like there's a lot of like celebrities who be up here. Agree. It's weird how people see it. That's absolutely true. And like why are everyone's always smoking in the movies and stuff because it looks aesthetic. Oh yeah, let's I guess watch from the beginning then. Hey guys, so we're going to talk about shrimp gate. Yes, we are. Um, if you guys don't know about this era in my life, this was about four to five years ago. And this is 32 minutes. We're never going to be able to finish. And I lost in only a couple of days about 12,000 subscribers. And here's why. I have not watched this video since I uploaded it. I don't remember what I said in it. Nothing. So we're going to watch it together and see why 12,000 or more people decide to unsubscribe for me. Within, within just a few days. <laughs> That's it. Hey guys, okay, so we have another mukbang. We are going to eat shrimp. It could be because, like, if some, you know what I mean? Like, I could be wrong, but I love how she has the sticker on her on her camera so that the, the China can't spy. Um, wait, but, like, imagine if, like, someone uploaded a YouTube video saying, like, all right, you guys, like, I was diagnosed with something related to directly related to me smoking and I might pass away from it but also I'm gonna smoke this ciggy but only once a week it's like of course the audience is gonna be like bro come on like you were just talking about how you wanted to like get better um Anya Taylor Joy smoking hot, fashionable, sad girl summer. <laughs> no, I mean, um, your Auntie Majory with yellow teeth, gross, trashy, a cautionary tale. I don't want to talk about my Auntie who's, who has yellow <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> but, um, it's facts. It's facts. But it's also just like, Britney Spears, Amber. Okay, you remember when she got flack for smoking? Mm-hmm. Like, they're, like, so I'm not gonna be here. Like, no, it's not right that there should be news tabloids like, oh, this celebrity gained weight. In fact, that is extremely triggering and upsetting that they would do that. But, and that's not even comparable because it's like, who cares if a celebrity gains weight? It's about Amber being morbidly obese. Like, that, those are two not even comparable things. But that is still put in the magazine. And also, you know, smoking is too. It's always the news. With cocktail sauce. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Me going, hey, that's weird. Um, I will say that a lot of people still to this day talk about how I ate a whole. Wait, you guys, I just realized I'm reacting to Amber reacting to Amber. Thing of cocktail shrimp. So let's see how many I actually eat. I'm curious. Okay, so I'm really excited. Here we go. I haven't had this in, um, it's been a minute. It's good. I have it muted. Um, I remember I muted some parts because I was living with roommates and there were some things being said that I didn't want um, you guys to hear. I don't think they realized that my camera could pick up what they were saying, so I just muted it because it was like personal. So, we're just gonna have the tails over there. So, just because I, well, I usually watch all of everything on YouTube on times two speed, so we're gonna watch it at 1.5. Um, hopefully, that's not too fast for you guys. Yeah, because I'm really right. I talk really slow, so. Mm. Yum. Yeah, so I have water. This is a cool bottle. Oh. Um, Come on, Amber. Now we have to slow it down because we can't understand what you're saying. God. No, I'm kidding. You're fine. Kroger brand, I think. Yeah. And they're plastic. I would go through phases in the past where I thought drinking a gallon of water was good for you. I would say for some people, but um, all bodies are different. Wait, I don't... Yeah, I guess. Don't force yourself to drink a gallon of water. I mean... Maybe not a gallon of water, but you should certainly force yourself to drink water. This, no, that was nitpicky, my bad. This is awkward. So the topic for today is... Is... Mukbangs and weight loss. This is like such a big thing. Because Obese Beast in another video um, kind of talked about mukbangs, like obese people doing mukbangs, and like mixing weight loss with mukbangs. So... I personally messaged him um, because we have talked in private before. Like, because he made two videos about me and then a video about McCombs. Um, half gallon? I mean, yeah. I mean, if you drink a gallon a day, I'm sure that's better than drinking nothing a day. <laughs> Recommended water intake is your weight in pounds 
Seriously? Times 0.5 equals the amount of you should drink. Dude, that's genius. I don't even... I don't even... Guys... I don't even really understand measurements, but I guess I could, like, use a measuring cup. Like, like how many... How many ounces... Wait, so if there's 16... Hold on, you guys. Calculator... So if there's 16 ounce, 16.9 fluid ounces, you need to drink, like, I don't know, Jesus, jeez, I don't know how to do math. You guys, this is way too hard for me. Um, wait, so, uh, 75 divided by 16.9. would be I have to drink four or the average 150 pound, pound person should drink 4.43 of these a day. I drink more than that. I I dare to I dare to say. Before the mukbang video, I um messaged him. This was before the mukbang video. So before the first mukbangs, I messaged him and just been like I just asked him like why couldn't you tell me like in a message that you everything you said in the video can tell me. So dude, I don't even want to talk about like I had to. When I went to call Ledge, I um I had to take not extra help, not the not the class before regular math, but the class before the class before regular math, right? Like I don't even want to talk about it, you guys. It's like <laughs> and, but like the thing is is I love meteorology like I adore it like y'all know y'all Jordan Hollis there y'all know how much I love meteorology I but like physics math please like no um so I remember I remember this moment I was definitely confused because me and him had you know, talked in private before. Um, he wanted to help me just a little bit with like weight loss, give me some advice and stuff. And then he made a whole video um, kind of like expressing his feelings or concerns. Um, and I just thought it was weird since, you know, we have been talking in private, why he didn't voice those to me privately and said like he made a whole public video about it. So I found that at the time to be a wee bit frustrating, but it's like now I get it. You know, it's the YouTube what? game. Making content about me does get one um, quite a few views, so I get it oh now. Oh my god, it's actually true. Wait, let's look at my views of Amber videos versus views of regular videos. I let me be the judge of that, Amberlyn. All right, let's go on my Amberlyn playlist. Okay, so my Amberlyn playlist. I don't even know. It ha it has. Come on, come on. Hold on. <laughs> he answered, obviously. And then um, he explained that, like, move on, so shouldn't be done by people on the So I want to say my opinion on this now. Um, that I that I really firmly think that you can still lose weight and do mukbangs, but I feel like there's a fine um, line. My Amberlynn videos don't really get more views than an average video. Unless I'm talking about something really dumb, like tornadoes. Between what type of food are you eating and how is it going with, like, your mental, you know? Like, is it mentally doing you good? Well, like, it's probably because, like, there's already so much coverage of Amberlynn out there. Um, she looks like she on the Delta. Is it doing you bad? Like, what is it doing for you? What purpose is it serving you? Um, but I do believe, like, mm. if we're just, like, black and white... I love me some meteorolic dude. There was like this, um, you know how when there's going to be a tornado, like the storm will like make that helix kind of thing. I don't know if that's the right word, but like, mm, dude, there was one coming straight from my town <laughs> and it, it dissolved. Yes, you can do mukbangs or eat on camera and lose weight. You still have to be in a caloric deficiency, obviously. Like, cause I, I don't know why I want my town to be in a tornado, frankly. That's actually really disturbing. I guess I would like there to be a tornado in the field by my house if it could just do a little bit of a and then just go back up and not harm anyone or any like animals, ideally. I'm picky when I watch Amber Lynn because her video dude, that's all I'm saying. Trigger my dude, I still have to make a video about that. Oh my god. Trigger my Anna, so I have to be in a good space to watch them. I'm all I'm actually doing decent today for 
a crazy gal, lol. Dude, literally, you are not the first person to say that. Um, some people will watch Amber Lynn because it, tr it 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 enforces their their ed or eating whatever but um i thought that was crazy because like i'd never connected those dots but it checks out that's how you lose weight but if you're eating thousands of calories per mukbang and you're doing it like daily then obviously you're not gonna lose weight that's the only things that the viewers see that makes sense and all but my whole thing is like this is First of all, this is my life. I'm an adult. I can choose what I want to do versus what I don't want to do. And, like, another big thing is, like, just because you are seeing... Okay, you guys, how would you guys feel if I was like, I, you guys, I'm over here with a benzo addiction, all right? You know, ruining my life, as one does. And I'm like, I, you guys, but listen up. I can probably take one benzo a week and get super fucked up, right? It'd probably be fine. You guys would be like, what the fuck? Like, no, because if you know, like, I'm sorry, Amber, but I think you might have a problem with food, whether it's like an emotional thing, whether it's like, um, like an addiction, it's BED, what have you, girlfriend? However, Goral, um, maybe not, maybe, maybe mukbangs aren't great for somewhat like an addict, right? In one meal out of the, what, 15 I have in a week, how is that gonna decipher everything? Do you get what I'm saying? And there are skinny move bombers out there. They don't, they don't gain weight at all. Um, there have been move bombers out there who have lost. Because you and I both know that like Amber did not change her lifestyle after filming these mukbangs. I don't know, maybe Filming a mukbang triggers her to binge because, um, you know, once you get back into the cycle. Sweet. It is a thing. It's not something that's crazy. It it's is a thing. It's easy to gain weight doing it, obviously, but it's also not that hard to lose weight while doing it. So I think here I was making excuses because I wanted to continue the mukbangs without backlash. Um, but it's just like I was in a point in my life where. I'm why would why would someone want to, tri dude? Um. Okay, so, you know, so if you, okay, this, this is important. Amber is, um, for someone who's not ready to recover from their ED, if you are in recovery, then yeah, um, definitely good idea not to, yeah. <clears throat> A lot of people with restrictive EDs feel a sense of identity and even superiority for their ability to restrict and control. Thinspo helps them to focus on superior feelings and avoid illness. Yeah, or even, I, I don't know, I could be wrong about this, but like, you know, watching, like, vi watching her and being, living vicariously during mukbangs, I could be wrong though, I just heard that on TikTok. I mean, look at me, I was like at my heaviest and I still wanted to be able to create content that I knew people would click on and that was mukbangs. I know you guys know, beauty, beauty. Food, 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 whatever. It's hard to pronounce it's not oh, Whatever. She's kind of where I'm at right now, where it's just like, we're over. I don't want to put words in her mouth, but I have talked to her privately. And I do watch her videos. We're kind of just over people only supporting us when we're doing what they want us to do. That's just not... That is a true fact. That is a thing. Um, Why is she talking about foodie beauty? I don't even... <laughs> people like me more when I'm losing weight. When I'm actively showing that I'm losing weight. Which is a very weird concept, in my opinion. This is something I heard Kicking Geese say, is like, the way Foodie Beauty and Amber Lynn see it is like, um, my viewers like me when I'm, when I'm taking care of myself, my, my viewers, it's like, dude, yeah, we like you because you are liking yourself, like, don't do it for us, like, what? And because it's like whether i'm losing weight or i'm not losing weight i'm still like the same person within like i still have the same heart and the same personality and so it's like to like someone based on their weight or to dislike someone based on their weight or to dislike or like someone based on like how they eat or if they're on track off track is weird because mm. when you truly think about it like it is one's life like yeah but it's also like you have the right to unsubscribe this is my life i get to choose what i want to do with it just like the next person can choose like do they want to smoke cigarettes we all know where that goes I recently watched. See, I don't think that I'm getting mass unsubscribes from smoke from vaping on live, 
because I'm not saying that it's like fine and healthy, even though like it's not. Um, a TikTok actually. Cardiovascular doctors were asked the same question, and it was, as a heart doctor, what is one thing you would never do? And they all had the exact same answer. What's one thing you would? I does cigarette crack is all well being a products are so good at marketing and advertising we sometimes forget that there might be some ills associated with that as well no one is deciding upon if they su should support or like or dislike someone based on them smoking cigarettes while smoking cigarettes no but that's the thing is like i don't dislike you for not taking care of yourself i don't know if anybody really like you know what i mean it's just like amber's silly face earrings look like cardboard paint painted <laughs> They look like cheap $2 earrings. Make my ears itch, lol. <laughs> no! LOL, fake metal in my ears make them itch. Dude, I cannot relate more. Because uh, I'm allergic to, like, literally even sterling silver. Not gonna happen. It's like my ears hate it. But you, you know what? Amber has spoken, and she said that she just likes the gaudy, not my words, hers, gaudy look. Is that, did she use that word? I could be, I could be putting a word in her mouth right now. We, you think that's what's going on? Is this, is this what's going on in the Amberverse? Because, like, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of looking forward to, like, this wedding. Maybe not, though, because I don't know their personal relationship. It's like, what's up, sisty? What is up, girl? We're reacting to your favorite, Amberlyn Reed. Just kidding. She doesn't care about Amber. <laughs> is actively killing somebody, just like... But, like, Katie, if you're still in here, like, girl, Amber is saying, like, y'all, it's all good that, like, I'm, I'm, like, doctors have told me that I have X amount of time to live if I continue this unhealthy lifestyle but like smokers though they don't get in trouble everyone's coming after me I'm like girl you know me being off track is also actively killing me but it's like why does cigarette smoking just for the lack of a better example get less heat than someone my size you know eating some shrimp on camera it's just it's it all boils down to one thing and we all know the answer Ain't, like, my sister, no, like, 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 have you ever, like, have y'all, I've even gotten y'all already told me that, like, mm, sorry, like, y'all get dirty looks for smoking, it's like, yeah, no, everyone knows that smoking is bad, and a lot of people think that it's unflattering, like, they don't like the way it smells, and whatever, and whatever. Like, honestly, yeah, whatever. Sorry, I'll read this aloud for you guys. It all boils down to one thing, and we all know the answer. Katie, you have to understand. Amber is in the Amberlynn cycle. <laughs> smug, so smug. Like, listen, I'm just gonna say that, like, this person clearly, like... So smug that you can't fit in the shower. So smug that you can't walk. You keep being smug. You're obviously better than all of us. Like, listen. Like, no, that's not nice. And also, that was posted three years ago. But th that's not nice. And honestly, like, they could have said that nicer. But chances are, like, a lot of the... Like, it hits a lot of people close to home. Um... <laughs> my sister likes Amberlyn. No, I'm kidding. She has no idea who Amber is. But, um, like, this person, I feel it would have been better. All I'm saying is that, like, people say mean stuff on the internet, whatever. Maybe you have stuff going on in your own life. Maybe it's triggering for you. Maybe whatever it is. And it's like, it's like... It happens, Amber. I'm sorry. I, I, I wish I, I wish people could be nicer on the internet and more empathetic, you know? But it is what it is, as you would say. Okay, this is, this one. I mean, I, I, I mean, I guess it's because people are, like, fed up. I'm not condoning it at all. Like, you can hear the chair slowly breaking under her while she tells us how easy it is to lose weight. Um, I think that's more of a metaphor if you really think about it. Like, 
no that you know what i mean it's like people are gonna be internet people it is what it is but like to to change your lifestyle based on it oh goral the binge is gonna be real tonight uh <laughs> what the fuck i mean <laughs> it's just that like i'm i don't know what to say it's like people are mad yeah, a lot of these people are being really fat phobic to her, which is really unnecessary. Like, that's all I'm saying. It's like, it's like, yeah, Amber, it sucks that people are saying that. But at the same time, it's like, it's the internet. And also people like want you to do better. Not because they want you to do better because for their personal gain, they want you to do better for you, right? I don't know, though, could be wrong. Let's be real. We all know she devoured the rest of that when she turned off the camera. Like I said, it's like... I feel like in this video, this person here and this person here, we probably still have the same beliefs. But I just feel like back then I had more like... I don't get... It's like, yeah, it sucks. But like she focuses so much on this group of people who clearly just like... Like why? It's like... Like, y'all don't see me be posted on here like, y'all, like, y'all, let me, let me post some screenshots of these bullies. Give a fuck attitude. Um, Wait. because I didn't care back then. I had more like, I don't give a fuck attitude. Um, because I didn't care about my weight as much as I do now. I didn't care about. See, you hear her speaking. She doesn't care about her weight. It's not about your weight, Amber. It's about your health. What I was eating as much as I do now. Slip. So I feel like that's probably going to be like a really big shift, but I feel like my opinion probably is still the same, but we'll see. So the calories and the nutrition is on the bottom of this. And she's doing exactly what I'm doing. Where if we film a mukbang, obviously it's very possible to stay under our allotted calories for the day. So this. That's very true. Keep in mind, I'm still harassed to this day about me eating a whole shrimp cocktail. So yeah, let's still keep that in mind because you're going to see here that's, that's not the truth. From what I remember, I do say how many calories I actually ate in this video. Which is... 90 calories per serving, and there's 4.5 servings in this whole thing. So 90 times 4.5, mm. we can do the math later, but it's not that many calories. And that includes we can do the, math the later. little cocktail sauce. And that's even if I finish the whole thing. So it's like not that typical. People um, are like harassing her. It's like, dude, I'm just saying that people on the internet are going to be people on the internet. It's like, it's like, you're, you're, no one is like dissociated. Like, no one is over people speaking whatever they want to speak on the internet because it's the wild west out here like my sausage fest video delicious delicious <laughs> delicious and that fit my calories and i was able to stay under my calories and the next day i was down about i think it was like 2.6 pounds so it's not honestly like people will just it's true if you stay below your calories you can fill move bongs what i was delusional with at the time is mm, i've been gonna listen i do not use the word delusional lightly because like like i've been delusional before like i get it you know what I mean? It's like, like when you say you're delusional, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like, as in you're misperceiving that you can, you can like be healthy when you only eat one meal a day that's giant and then just assume you're not going to want to eat the rest of the day or whatever. I didn't have a healthy relationship with food. It wasn't going to end that easily. It, it... Sorry if that was triggering to anyone. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I yeah I see that's I hate like it bothers me when people like talk about their weight or like talk about calories because I'm like I know how triggering that can be it's like mm. I avoid calorie counting it's another triggering thing for for the Anna I just I just eat twice a day uh, when my boyfriend eats so I feel like it's a family food and it helps me a bit oh that's nice that's amazing yeah I mean like I don't know how to describe it. It's just not sustainable, I guess. It wasn't that easy for me. Like, my relationship with food was so unhealthy. Again, it was just me making excuse after excuse after excuse. And they'll continue to judge because they want something to judge you on. No matter what I do, no matter what Chantel does, we're going to get hate for it. I low-key kind of hate that I am talking about Chantel in this video. I did not know that I was. Um, as you guys know, me and Chantel had a falling... Like, why is she talking about... Like, she's talking about her hate comments. She's talking about Chantel. She's talking about foodie beauty. Now, and not just that, but there's things that she does that I find disgusting. And um, 
I don't like Chantel. Also, whoa, really drama. But also, I'm just going to tell y'all, it took me a total of 20 minutes to download this OBS so that my screen could be like this so I don't have to show you guys the video with my tablet in the corner over here, like. Oh, I don't support her. I don't think that she should get as much harassment as she does. Like, once, you know, the haters vote in real life, I feel like people are just, like, taking it way too far. But just do know that um, my thoughts on Chantel in this are definitely different than they are now. So keep that in mind. Exactly what you told you. What you want. Was that necessary? Like... Listen, I well, you're allowed to talk about who you do and don't like, Thanks. but it's also just like, why? LOL, good to download, LOL, right? You want our bosses, you want our dads. It's like, you know, you don't have to, like, it's just an idea. Our doctors, I just think the fact that people can hate on us so hardcore and judge us so hard over the food we put in our mouths is kind of crazy. Especially because it's free. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I still agree with that. Like, I just feel like it's no one's business what someone else does to their body. There are so many things in this world I that- I mean, at the same time, dude, like, you're a public figure who's actively talking about it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of, it like- you said for the longest time that you wanted to be have be a health channel, be be healthier, um, and then and then change it around and then be like, why are people unsubscribing? Like, it's not because you're a bad person. It's because of like the actions, fam. Um. So. So the calorie count might not be high, but the sodium is off the charge. That, thank you. That Thank you so much. That's another great point, is that Amber only looks at calories. She does not look at nutritional content, which is harmful because it just is, y'all, okay? I didn't go to nutritionist school. <laughs> but, like... Ugh. No. People do. On a but, like, it's not sustainable or healthy to be like all right well i was like my i did eat whatever but like you know it, <laughs> it's it's technically the correct amount that i was told and like you know but it's like girl like why are you trying like why are you trying to fit these unhealthy behaviors into your life like you just ha what does anyone know amberlynn's zodiac sign i'll look it up day-to-day -day basis that is actively killing them and I keep bringing up cigarettes. If you, I bet you she's a cancer. Smoke, I'm sorry to offend you. It is something that kills so many people in the USA a year. Girl, okay, what the fuck? Hold on a second. No, she's not a, tell me she's not a Sagittarius. Tell me she's not. Oh, thank God, she's a Capricorn. I was gonna say. <laughs> um... Yeah, you know what? Earth signs for life. Earth signs for life. All right, let's look up how many deaths from obesity per year, Amber. How many deaths per year for obesity? I, I, you know, there's only uh, 4 million deaths per year world worldwide. You know, so, you know, it's a little bit less, Amber, you're right. I can't help but think of that and kind of compare the two. You know, it's not like heart disease is a thing. Because food and cigarettes both kill people. Although I'm curious, because- Well then why are you bringing up cigarettes though to deflect? My brain is not working right now. Mm -hmm. 90 times 4.5 is 405 calories. All the so that whole thing of shrimp is only 400. Uh, thumbnail ideas, thumbnail ideas, thumbnail ideas. <laughs> Okay, um, sorry about my, my thumbnail, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna be frank. I just get so excited to go live. I'm like, oh, I'll just do the thumbnail afterwards. <laughs> like, she chooses to make herself a public figure and wonders why she, she's messed, wonders why when she's messed up, people don't like her. Yeah, it's weird to me. It's like, it's like, on top of her being a public figure, she actively talked about it all the time, and then all of a sudden she's like, no one should talk about my my body, like, that's private. It's like, well, yeah, but you were just talking about how you wanted to be healthy, well, to lose weight, but, like, I'm trying to be like, girl, you don't want, don't, 
don't want to lose weight, want to be healthier. Like that's a very big flaw in your mindset. Third and five calories, and that is including the cocktail sauce. It's a lot of food because it's voluminous. And that is what you kind of go after when you are in a calorie deficiency for weight loss. You want to eat very low calorie, healthy foods that are high in volume while low in car um, calories or carbs, every kind of carbs, whatever it may be. Dude, she's a, she's a great teacher. And that's that's something that frustrates people about Amber. And I'm, a, I'm kind of frustrated right now. Because, not really. But like, you know what I mean? It's like she knows exactly what to do, but she just doesn't do it. And it's like, baby, I'm over here doing the same thing, so I get it, but. Four and five calories, and it's actually more healthy, in my opinion. Vegans would probably disagree. Oh my God. Like, I guess. Maybe it's because Amber Lynn reminds me of myself. You know what I mean? I feel like, like a lot of us, we all have our guilty pleasures and, you know, deflecting it on Amber Lynn really, uh, Makes us feel better. No, I'm kidding. I, I don't I don't deflect on Amberlynn. I'm I'm just here to react. What am I even doing? What why am I here? Still in, in my mind now it's like I understand to an extent why people were mad that I ate this on camera, but I also don't understand it at the same time. Because if I was someone who was skinny eating this, no one would have that it and I like there are mukbangers out there who are skinny who eat thousands of calories in each video and no one says a single okay, okay. thing no one bats an eye um I think one of the like the craziest ones for me um I don't know her name but she does like ASMR like honey something I don't know but she makes like these crazy desserts she eats so much in one sitting and like again I don't need to repeat myself but it's like Amber, you actively talked about how like you have binge eating disorder and you have a problem and you want to be healthier frequently uploads videos and no one says a thing and here i am if i was to eat this whole shrimp um i would only be eating 405 calories again let's see how many i do eat i just don't want people to think of mukbangs and think of gain weight that's not what it is like but like what like can someone tell can someone answer me this why why it did she do mukbangs in the first place then uh, in my, like, I honestly don't know, but if I were to guess, it would be to enable her at food addiction, BED, whatever it might be. Um, and give it kind of an excuse, like, kind of like how, like, if you're, if you're addicted to, like, whatever, I'm not going to use an example because it'll be offensive. <laughs> I'm still eating shrimp, whether I was filming the video or not. And like I talked about before, I'm done. Like, constantly talking about my weight on the channel because there's more to me than that. And people don't realize that, I don't think. People just look at me as a number on the scale. And I'm tired of that. Like, I literally am just tired of it. And the best thing I can say is, keep watching my channel. And, you know, I feel like it's not something I'll never talk about again. Like, obviously I will. Like, you will hear me talk about Did she just instruct people to watch her channel? Should I do the same thing? Hey, guys. Wait, no, because she got a bunch of unsubscribers from this. So if I were to tell you guys, you guys stay subscribed, all right? Y'all don't unsubscribe, all right? Even if like, even if like you followed me for a certain reason and I'm no longer doing that thing, no, you have to stay subscribed, y'all. It's your responsibility. Oh, okay. So she did mukbangs because they were pop they were a popular way to get view. I'm sure, girl, I'm sure. What's up, Peniel Peggy? Oh my goodness, fam. Um, but yeah, so mukbangs uh, is, a, is a good way to get views at the time. I feel she would have uh, followed any food trend if it could get her views. Right, I mean, it's probably a mix of both. She's like, all right, all right, so listen. I know that this will get me views. And also, you know, like... There's no way she didn't want to do that a little bit, because, like, who do who doesn't want to make YouTube videos? Like, why would you make it, then? Oh, you know, oh, I've lost the pounds, or, oh, I've lost the pounds, this is how much I weigh now. Like, not that I'm never going to talk about again, but it's just, like, it's no longer a main focus, because that's not, like, that's not everything I am. There's so much more to I agree with that still. Like, I know I'm actively talking about, you know, my weight loss journey, and that's something I am going to continue talking about, but I'm more than that. And there has been so many times... In my YouTube career, I've been on here for a decade where I've wanted to stop talking about my weight and I wanted to like be free of that discussion. I mean, that's fine, but you know, people are just gonna be people. Because in the past, there has been times where 
talking about it, sharing my journey was highly triggering for me. And anytime I would mention that in a YouTube video that, you know, I'm kind of done sharing my weight loss. Wait, so it's like, listen, you guys, I gave up on this whole weight loss thing and I'm going to do mukbangs now, but don't ask me about it. It's triggering. Journey people and stay subscribed would get upset like very angry. This has made me realize that maybe I just should not be sharing my weight loss journey whatsoever with YouTube. If that's all people are trying to look for is, oh my God, does Amberlynn have diabetes? I bet she does. I know she does. She should. Or, oh my God, I know Amberlynn is over 600 pounds. She's probably like 620. Oh, she's 640 now. Look at her face in this video. Oh, look at her body. Like, what? People are wanting me to be bigger. There are videos of people wanting me to be bigger. There are comments, there's messages. People want me to be bigger than what I really- It's called a fetish. It's gross but it's the internet dude it's gross and it is what it is it's like i am when i'm already too big like literally people want to know my weight in every video people want me to step on the scale in every video like that's all people want me to talk about i think i'm just done with it like <laughs> i'm not fetish shaming you guys i'm just saying that it's not good for people to want other people to be unhealthy i literally think i'm done with it for now like it's weird because i'm more than that and I have more to talk about than that. I have more to share than that. So I felt, you know, a lot of times in the past where I was kind of just molding myself into a person that like people wanted to see. I felt like people wanted to see someone talk about their weight who was also doing mukbangs because it was like a train wreck. It was a train wreck aspect to it all. And so that is what I kept doing because I knew that's what people wanted. And it's true. The I don't know about that. I don't know if people like the only people who wanted that were like the fetishes. <laughs> No judgment, babe. Listen. Um, all I'm saying is like, is like, you know what? Like, whatever you do, like, in the bedroom, that's fine, dude. But like, for someone like on the internet to reach out to someone who is not related to that community at all and be like, this is content. Views say it all. Like, you know, it's time and place, time and place. I haven't done a mukbang in almost a year. <laughs> it's been almost I'm a year. over it, you guys. This is kind of boring. Like, when does it get good? Oh, I guess we're about to go over her mukbangs. And I have been actively Wait, trying to... In almost a year. <laughs> it's been almost a year. Oh. And I have been actively trying to get weight loss surgery and trying to better myself with my food i mean it it worries me because it's like she doesn't understand and it, like maybe it's because of like something that like in her brain where she can't fathom the idea that weight loss surgery isn't gonna solve her problems and she's not gonna crave bad food anymore and my views are lower than ever because of that the very no, all I'm saying, fam, is I do have one question, though. Is The only fetish that I'm very, very concerned about is, um, what is it called? Consent play. Like, I just learned about this, and I'm, I don't get it. It sounds very dangerous. You know what I mean? Especially if you have, like, trauma. Like, ooh. I thought she wasn't going to do weight loss surgery when when th did that change. She's still not because the psychologist was like, fam, you're not ready for it because you think that it's going to be a magical thing that's going to make you skinny. But it's like, she doesn't understand that she doesn't, she shouldn't want to be, want to be skinny, dude. That should not be the goal. Everything that would boost my views, which would boost the money in my fucking wallet is if I return to this. No, you know what would boost your wallet? Is being a success story, babe. Like, people are watching that for not good reasons. They're watching it f to trigger their restriction eating disorder. They're, you know, they're watching it to get off. They're watching it, you know, to, to, I don't know why people watch it, honestly. Okay, okay. Because it's like, it's like not great, you know? And, like, I'm gonna be honest, from the outside, I didn't know that Amber- I could be still wrong, but I didn't know Amber was doing the mukbangs for attention. I thought she was just filming herself eating. <laughs> and that's what I'm used to. 
<laughs> We're gonna just try it out. Dude, I've seen all of these clips before. That's not really like a binge. And I'm not going to. No. Am I gonna share my food with you guys? Sure. Will I take a few bites on camera? Sure. That ain't a mukbang. That ain't a mukbang. Oh my god, I took a few bites of my omelet in a recent video and someone's like, I didn't know this was gonna be a mukbang. Where's the mukbang? <laughs> that's not a mukbang. In the past, I just felt very like forced to talk about things that I didn't want to because I felt like that's all I had. And that's sad because there was more to me back then. I mean, it is sad because like I I get it to an extent, but not really because it's like you're putting your health on the line, babe. Like this isn't about views. Like not like no amount of views should be worth your health and um, recovery from an issue with food. And there's more to me now. I want to share more of my hobbies. I want to talk more about my past. I want to hear about my foster experience. And it's like how these people. Can you guys hear her when she's like when the one in the the a Amber reacting to Amber, the faster one? I'm actually thinking about doing a foster care Q&A, because I feel like that would be a lot easier I can't do. really understand her. I don't know why. I, I used to, but now I can't. <laughs> I have been wanting to do that for I don't know how long, but for some reason, even thinking about doing that, like, just foster care. Like, there's a few things in my life that I, like, is so hard for me to talk about, and foster care is one of them, so that's why you guys, like, rarely hear me talk about all of that. Like, I mean, honestly, to an extent, like, I think that's fair, because... Fam, I'm here for the education because, like, I'm not shaming. I'm genuinely, like, very confused, like, and concerned, frankly. Because, like, wow. Like, from the first PS, consent play can kind of be, like, exposure therapy. Wait, but, like, to what? Because I heard that if, if like, if you like consent play, chances are... No, I'm not going to say it because that'll be triggering. Ugh. I don't know if I ever will, honestly. Experience would take hours and hours and hours. Probably take possibly several videos, and I'm just not really into that. It's hard to talk about. No, but like at the same time, no judgment. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that like in the in the proper circumstances, that would be appropriate. You know, I just want to talk more about things I've went through, things I'm going through today. I want to you know share more of my life, my girlfriend, my fur babies, you know, friends, and you know, show you things like that. I want every video that I film for people to just be like, so about that land, though. So if I just take it out completely, maybe people will be quiet about it. But who knows? Yeah, this is why I was losing. I mean, I guess it's true. Like, like for example, if I stopped making dissociated videos, like, I'm sure I'd get comments being like, hey, you know, what happened to the dissociated videos? Because it was what you were talking about. That's why you started your, I didn't start my YouTube channel for dissociated, but you got, but that's why she started her YouTube channel. So many subscribers is because like, I'm gonna be honest, there is not a lot of, like, as you can, as you guys can probably tell, I don't know a lot about, like, the, like, the kink community. I'm, I apologize. I was a bit smug. I'm very uneducated, so don't, don't take my opinion personally. And I said I didn't want to talk about my weight anymore. And then I felt almost, I'm like, so gaslit and, like, coerced into continuing that just to get those subscribers back. Just so people would stop. Like, it, it felt like bullying. It was, like, the craziest thing. Like, Shrimp Gate at the time, I didn't really discuss how I was- So, Amber did mukbangs so that she could get her subscribers back? ...feeling, but it put me in such a horrible headspace for so many people to actively, like, almost put up a strike against me. Like, people were striking against me, it felt like. I mean- I don't know about that. I feel like they're just sad that you didn't like, you know. And it was, it was hard. Like it was mentally the hardest thing ever. And when I noticed it happening, I shut down pretty bad, like in my personal life. And I just felt, I didn't feel good. <laughs> like It's like watching someone kill themselves on camera. It's like, imagine if someone was like, injecting themselves on camera it's like it's it's sad and you don't want to see that stuff because like you you subscribed originally to see them in recovery i didn't at all and i immediately went sorry for the triggering i, I always come up with the worst examples <laughs> back to what everyone wanted i'm just talking doing that punch you know i'm just trying to keep it like simple for now and then eventually 
add in some more arm situations and more body frankly i'm gonna be honest with you guys if i made an exercise video i would get hate on it too because i would have no idea what the fuck i'm doing situations like so you guys what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on a jog but you're not gonna stretch first and you're not gonna drink water like i also want to do some walking and some walking in place and with the weight loss with the weight loss journey with the train wreck when what i wanted to do was take out all of that and just share the ha like i'm just saying dude like it's one thing to be a clout chaser and like no but like it's one thing to be a clout chaser but it's worrying like i have I'm, i feel bad i know that i know that like it's like people are angry at amber and i i have a hard time feeling bad for her because like she lied about her ex raping her so like it's hard but at the same time it's like how how wait how about don't worry about those subscribers and get some different subscribers like like, yeah, babe, maybe you will get subscribers from this, but not the kind you want. And also now you have like a bunch of not great stuff on about you online. Happiness of my life and share more about my past. And I didn't get to do that because I felt so coerced into just being this train wreck. That's what I've been on YouTube. That's why I was an icon, as people call it. I'm not that no more. Well, then... Okay, I'm just saying that, like, don't- you shouldn't want to be the icon that you're describing, babe. And I think it's really hard for people to wrap their head around. It's scary. I could easily go back to this. But it's scary because, like, I have to every day wake up and choose me and choose health and choose bettering myself. One day at a time, babe. Y'all in recovery know what the fuck is going on. Over money. And it's hard. It is, especially when like people are constantly talking about, oh my God, your channel's dying. You're barely getting any views. Oh, I did watch this video. Okay, who cares? Oh, I guess she should care like a, t like a tiny bit, but not in this way because like she does kind of make a living off of YouTube type deal. Oh, I just can't get over the- Wait. People struggling so hard to hold on to the internet status. Internet addiction is real. Right, it's like, I'm gonna be fair with you guys. I'd rather have, like, a small-knit community of people who actually support me than, like, a giant community of people who don't like me or want me to do bad stuff. The amount of views on this, 26,000. And that's it for Amber. I mean, this has to be an all-time low for her channel. It's a news person. Amber. Amber's an interesting person, so people like to spread the news about her and you know what maybe your maybe your views are at an all-time low but maybe you're doing great and i don't know how much money would you make off of that mo let me try to find a video that i have that got twenty-seven thousand views i think that's like um mm, i have no idea um It's not that much, I think. That's not that much money. Actually, yes, it is. I think I got that much on my, uh, what is this called? Social worker, even though I'm literally not a social worker, so that was a mistake. Responds to Acacia Kersey. Oh my god. So yeah, I made, um, I got 44,000 views on that. And I made $160. So let's do that. 160 divided by two. She made $80. So what if you made videos 80 times 15 videos? So she would make $1,200 a month times 12. She would, wait a minute. How does she make money on YouTube? I'm tripping. I must, that must be the wrong numbers. I haven't seen views this low in a long time. You just would expect bigger numbers than that, right? But it seems as though interest in Amberlynn Reed has- I'm so sorry, fam. Okay, so, dude, I'm so bad with Instagram. Okay, I don't- I don't want to talk about- <laughs> But, like, specifically right now, I have- I don't want to talk about it. But I'm getting, like, a lot of, um, not great messages on there. So if I don't respond to you, I'm so sorry. Not a lot of, not anymore, like, um, but, like, yesterday. Uh, uh, yeah, basically, it was a lot. 
fallen off. But I'm sorry. Let me try to go in there right now and find you because I don't want to look after because I'm I'm upset. It is, it, it'll upset me. All right, let's see here. Um, I don't know. That's weird. You can try, um, what's this thing called? My main Instagram, which is Igris, Ig, wait, so it's Y-G-G-D-R-A-S-I-L, Igrisil underscore nymph, N-Y-M-P-H. I'm much more likely to respond, to be honest, on that one. I don't know. It's just like, because I, I, I get a bunch of like spam messages. Like we, like, we would like you to be our ambassador. Off of a cliff lately. It's because this Amber Lynn doesn't exist anymore. And plus, sometimes I feel like me broadcasting it so much is what makes me fail. I feel like if I just work behind the scenes and work on my eating disorder and, like, my brain and my weight loss in private, then that'll help because there won't be so much pressure on me. But, you know. That's exactly what I wanted. I I'm just wanted it. i this, you guys. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is kind of... I guess... There's not really much that left of this, like, that she's probably just going to keep talking about this stuff and then put this insert of this person. It should be illegal. It should be criminalized. And can making you unhealthy isn't giving you diabetes or high blood pressure etc cetera, etc cetera. um i'm definitely not health at every size because i don't consider being super morbidly obese healthy at all so that's not what i'm saying but what i am saying is i just it all boils down to one thing like i keep saying so i'm a big i'm big on fat shaming now of course this movement of fat acceptance is all across social media and there is this woman who is i guess a fat representative her name is samira miller she's got 1.5 million followers by the way so there is yeah definitely a following for being openly fat and <laughs> candace candace if you're going to try to degrade me at least say my name correctly <laughs> samira you know, I watched your whole six-minute, 23-second, violent, discriminatory rampage toward me and other fat people. And all I have to say is, I feel sorry for you. But I mean, I feel sorry for anyone who says of- I mean, I kind of agree with that. Like, like why go after the plus-size community? Like, obviously, no matter what size you are, you deserve to love yourself. Like, that's not the problem. So I agree with this person. Self-worth is found in a relentless pursuit of proximity to whiteness. <laughs> but that's another thing is like, uh, is like, um, I don't know about YouTube, but I know for specifically TikTok will push attractive white people. This message is not for you. This message is for Congress. This message is for our federal Wait, communists. I think my sister's a communist. No, she's a she's an anarchist, not a communist. I take it back. Don't go after my sister. Fat phobia is real. Discrimination yeah. based on weight is real. It should be illegal. It should be criminalized. And Candace Owens. This is all so true, but also has nothing to do with Amber. This is just one example. But fat phobia it permeates. I was gonna say, um, I. Th think my listen you guys i could be completely wrong i hate politics more than literally anything but i, I am gonna go vote today if anyone's curious <laughs> but um uh, i hate the way i spoke just now <laughs> this is why i hate going live because like when i when i um make youtube videos if i say something cringy i can just record it again but now i said it and it's here what's up the never wonder system um Sorry, so quiet. We are still here, just waiting and discussing your vid as we watch with the hubs. LOL. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my gosh. Do you know Amber? Well, you're probably busy painting. <laughs> Do you guys want to see my new Facebook profile picture? Hold on. This is, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> you guys are just jealous that I saw this massive tornado. So you should just stop right now because you're clearly jealous. <laughs> Every single structure of our society, healthcare, education, entertainment, just to name a few. And it also lies at the intersection of other identities that are already- Yeah, exactly. I mean, you definitely should not at all go over, get, um, what's it called? Go after plus size people. But like when they actively talk about how they, they are killing themselves and they want to do better and then turn around and say, yeah, but it's none of your business. Federally protected from hate and bias. So why aren't fat bodies protected? 
Well, it's because it will require you lawmakers to face your own fat phobia, to unlearn your own fat phobia. And I guarantee if any of you spent just even one minute to understand the racist, sexist, classist, ableist history of the BMI, of other fat politics, you would understand why That's fat people saying, need guys. protection. So if you truly care about human rights... I was just watching this, like, thing about how, like, POC are more likely to die in the medical field. Like, more, uh, this is, might be a little triggering, more, um, what's it called? Like, s complications in giving birth, the baby will pass away and the doctor will be like, oopsies, like, to more POC, maybe the doctor won't say oopsies, but... It's like they won't try as hard to save a POC's life. It's like, but why the fuck Amber is literally whiter than me? Okay, maybe not whiter than me because like I think she's got some Irish in there. Um, yeah, like I said, like I wanted to talk about the uh, McCain Hospital, but I'm going to be frank with you guys. Like, I'm kind of, I hate this about myself, but I'm kind of, I don't hate that. I, I don't hate myself. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to be nice to myself, but I am kind of like Switzerland. I'm so sorry. Like, there's parts of it that I agree with, parts that I disagree with, and honestly, you guys, I'm not, I feel like other people are already talking about it, um, and yeah, so that's that on that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I apologize profusely about protecting people from hate and bias no i was just giving you the middle finger <laughs> you would understand why fat phobia should be illegal it's hard it's discriminating i mean yeah i feel like doctors generally don't try at all they just throw experimental pills and document the side effects yeah dude like my cat <laughs> my cat's dot my cat's doctor is like she has she's allergic to like everything she's allergic to dust she's allergic to like everything dude and like like little thingies in the air and um like pollen like all of the pollens and stuff and so she gets like these these like r i don't know rashes i guess on her and like her doctor literally is not helping her fam i would like to apologize like I feel so bad for premiering my videos. <laughs> um, I'm excited about it too. I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna, I'll give, I'll give you guys a little bit of sneak peek. So, basically, um, <clears throat> my opinion is like, isn't it like kind of ableist to tell a system who says, "Hey, this isn't in the DSM five criteria for the diagnosis." Um, to like for a system with real di DID to tell that to a person who's who's self-diagnosed or faking D not that self-diagnosis and faking is the same thing man I said it a lot better in the video so I'm so sorry about that I'm only going to say it was really tired of the next movie and uh, I just want more positivity so anyways I'm going to end this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys next time oh thank god it's over oh my god so that was it no, That's Amber's gonna react to me and say, then why are you watching? Because, Amber, I wanted to see if you'd say anything interesting. At the end of the video, you know, I was saying that I was tired of the negativity and I just wanted more positivity. And oh. in return... Amber, I, I will give you positivity. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I, give, I give in. You deserve more positivity. I got so much negativity that it was just like, it made my mental health really bad. And I don't remember, you know, I mean, the thing about being a YouTuber, especially if you're gonna like, make this contra controversial content is like, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's one of the worst parts about being an influence, a creator, I'm not gonna say influencer, because you guys know that I'm not an influencer. But it's one of the uh, worst parts about being a creator is the hate that you get. Um, but it's not for everyone, you know what I mean? So if it affects your mental health, you know, that sucks. Like, it maybe, I don't know what to say, but you can't control what the internet does. It's not like, you can't control people. If I shared that at the time, but it was very, very hard for me.
you know, my friends around me, my girlfriend at the time, they knew, they saw, I told them it was rough. And um, I still don't think what happened was warranted. And still to this day, people talk about this moment. And yeah, you guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of confused. Why did she lose so many subscribers? Like, I'm not trying to be like, whatever. The only reason I could think was because she's like talking about other people and also doing a mukbang. Um, putting yourself on public display opens you up to more people's opinions. Like, that's all I'm saying is, like, it's hard. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, when I get hate, it hurts. But, and it's normal. But at the same time, it's like, it's like, people are allowed to say whatever the fuck they want. You know what I mean? It's like, you can't tell them that they can't disagree with you. You don't got to care about their opinions, though. Exactly. It's like, it's like, why are you listening? Like, if I, if I listened, well, you guys never really say anything, any bad things that I should do. But if you guys were, like, telling me that I should, like, do something bad, like, like, a bunch of mukbangs when I have BED or something, like, what? Like, no, like, don't give in to that. I, I still don't get it. I still don't understand it. I don't get it, babe. I don't get it. Pay attention to the viewers who like you. And I don't think that I ever will. So anyways, if there are any other videos that you guys want me to watch, videos that I have filmed in the past, let me know. Um, especially like ones that people consider iconic. Or wait, 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 wait. Thumbnail idea. Did you guys just see the way ones she that um, are controversial even or ones that are funny? doesn't matter. Um, let me know and maybe I'll do it. So yeah. Okay, you guys know that like I'm kind of unopinionated about amber like i want to have empathy for her I, but i also dislike her because of the things that she's done but also like i want to feel empathy for her like i said but anyways um with that being said this video is over right that's this video yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next one bye bye girl what's this the narc alert well you guys that's that on that and um thank you for being here with me i really just wanted to respond to the smoking thing because it's honestly kind of like upsetting how overtly deflecting someone can be and that's another thing Peniel peggy is like i want to have empathy for her but it's at the same time it's like for the longest time she's been talking about how like lying basically like lies about this and that lies about a lot of stuff so it's like why dude it's like anyways so it's like that's another thing is like it's like i want to have empathy for her but at the same time it's like girl you out here like white lying about stuff that doesn't even matter so my cat is laying on my keyboard you can't see her because she's all the oh i'm sorry i made her jump off okay well uh stocks don't look to be doing good sorry <laughs> I hope everyone has a great day today. Sorry about my wacky eyebrows, you guys. They're so wacky. But, you know, one of these days they'll be normal again. Probably not tomorrow or the day after, but it is what it is. So, yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn the bell on if you're feeling risky. Comment below once the video is uploaded. It helps with the algorithm. I would appreciate it. I want to say my cat would too, but she really doesn't care. You know what I mean? It's like she's a cat. She's my bestest friend ever. Yeah, thank you so much for being here, you guys. The Never Wonder System, Neil Peggy, my both Jennifers, KT, Thornback, Cat, all y'all mofos hanging out with me. Oh, Jordan, not Jennifer. Jeez. Jordan Hollisman. And my cat. And yeah, uh, make sure to become a member. It starts at 99 cents. You get early access to my videos. You get to pick my videos and many more other perks. And um, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video as always. And have a fantastic Tuesday.